So let's continue our series here with how to interact with React Support. Once again, we have an access port for our Volkswagen Golf R and we're connecting it to our computer here. You saw in the previous section of the video uh, that we uh, need to download the access port manager software and we already have that installed on the computer. So now we're just going to hit connect here and once it's recognized that I've plugged it in, then you can see the progress bar there and you can see the files on the uh, on the access port itself so here i'll just zoom in a little bit so here you can see that there are a number of files in their manage the maps the calibrations that we send you via email are stored on their maps uh, on your access port you can look at all files but if you don't want to get confused with other files such as data logs that are on your access port then just select maps and you can see that here we have a number of stage maps that are from uh, Cobb. So all of these will be on your access port regardless of whether you get calibrations from us or somewhere else. And then these are the cast, the custom uh, calibrations that we built uh, for your vehicle. And uh, in order to get a calibration onto your access port, it's really, really simple. We send you a .ptm file. You can see this right here. So this is a .ptm file, uh, drag and drop it from your email anywhere on your desktop or in a folder. And then you simply grab this file and you drag it across to the access port. It asks you, are you sure you want to copy this? And then you say yes, and then there it is. Now you have this new calibration. When you unplug, uh, eject the access port from your computer, plug it into your uh, vehicle, into the OBD port, then you're able to select this calibration and hit flash. It's as simple as that. Now, in terms of getting data logs off of the access port, so after you've data logged, you can select data logs here from the drop down, and this is how they'll look like. So, for example, this uh, this is a data log that we've taken at some point in the past. The data logs uh, number up from one all the way up to the number of files that you have on the access port. Once you delete the data logs off your access port, it'll start numbering from one again. What I recommend is that you always delete the uh, old data logs from your access port so you don't get confused uh, which map iteration you took uh, the, data, the particular data log with. So you can grab this data log and then you can basically drag it to a location on your computer. And there you go, there it is. So now you click on it and it is a, um, you can view it in Excel or similar program and there's all the parameters that were logged. One other uh, feature that I want to show you guys, uh, it's under here at the very last column. So if you look at the very last column that of the data log, you'll see AP info. So now, if we look at what's contained under AP info here, and I'll try and zoom in and make this as clear as possible. So you'll see some important information about this data log. You'll see the, uh, the version of the firmware that it was taken with. You're gonna see the vehicle ECU type right there that it was taken with and that it was, sorry, the map was flashed on. And then finally, you're gonna see the map version which uh, if you're confused of whether or not this uh, data log was taken with the latest calibration or not, this will tell you. Uh, and uh, this is the ECU, the, the vehicle engine calibration. And this is the TCM if your car is so equipped, for example, for DSG tune. So this is important information that can be grabbed from any of the data logs that you take and uh, will uh, will make it a little bit easier for you to, to both add files, remove files from your access port and, uh, and see what is on these files.